So let's look at a very fascinating verse at the end of Galatians. This time in the New International Version. Peace and mercy to all who follow this rule of love that he's been talking about, namely the Israel of God. The Israel of God there is the international church. If you're a true member of the true body of Christ, you are the spiritual Israel of God. Now, I must add immediately, because some of you will begin to accuse me of being a, a replacement people and not a replacement person in this sense, that there's also a future for national Israel. So you must think of two Israels right now. Paul calls Jews, fellow Jews who are now largely blinded to the gospel, he calls them in Romans 9 to 11, Israelites. You who are Gentile, church, Christian people are not Israelites, but you are the Israel of God. You're the true circumcision in Philippians 3.3, 3, and you're the Israel of God, the true people of God in Galatians 6.16. Don't forget then that Israel has two senses. Israel of God now is the international true Christian body, and the Israelites who are currently not with the Christian program are going to be converted, at least a collective whole of them will be converted under the pressure of the Great Tribulation, and they will form then the nucleus of a new ethnic Israel then converted. They will have a leading position in the kingdom too, as model citizens, models of what we should be as believers in Jesus and those who obey his gospel, which is the essence of New Testament Christianity.